What's up everybody, Jeff Moores here, one of the pastors on the Vista campus, and I'm about to tell you one of the most important things that you can be praying for the people in your lives on today's Daily Dose. And you can find it in Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 19. Now this is Paul, and he's praying for the church in Ephesus, a church that he loves, that he helped started, full of people that he deeply cares about. And this is what he says, verse 14, for this reason I kneel before before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives his name. Now basically that just means that he's praying in accordance with God's will for people that come from God. He says, I pray that out of his glorious riches, or otherwise known as his unlimited resources, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, listen to this, may have the power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ. And to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of the fullness of God. Now this is Paul and he's praying for the Ephesians and he isn't praying, look, Ephesians, I'm just praying that, that you'll be healthy, wealthy, and wise. Although, I mean, if you want to pray that, go for it. He's not saying, hey, look, this is Paul, and I'm just praying that you guys would have a, a, a greater um, knowledge of the smarter things of God. No, he's praying this. He's praying that they would have the power to know how much they are loved by God. That they would have the power not in intellectual understanding, but in intimate understanding to know how high, how deep, and how wide God's love is for them. So let me just encourage you with this. I know this is, by the way, this is one of the most incredible, in-depth passages. It would take me a, a, a whole series to really break it down, but just to make it simple for us today and make it incredibly applicable for us today is this. Begin to pray for the people in your life. So dads, pray for your families. Pray that they would have the power, that God would grant them the power to understand how loved they are by God. Mothers, pray for your families, for your kids, for your husbands, the exact same thing. Managers, managers, pray for your employees, those that you oversee. That's basically what Paul is here to, to the Ephesians. He is the one that has overseen them. He is their apostle. He helped start them. He, he cares for them. Pray that they would have the power, that God would first invade their lives and by his Holy Spirit empower them to begin to grasp how much they are loved by God. Single people, pray this for your friends. College students, pray this for your classes. But please, more and more, let's pray because intellectually we can't grasp it. How can we understand an infinite God with infinite love with our, in, with our finite minds? No, this is a spiritual thing because ultimately we're spiritual beings. So let's pray that God invades our hearts by his Holy Spirit. He strengthens our inner man and allows us to grasp, not intellectually again, but intimately, how much we are loved by God. Those are the prayers you want to pray for those in your life and for yourself. Have a great day.